Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, people. Glad you can make it. Hey, Boone. Hey, yeah, Boone. How you do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's our companion now. Uh, well, we solved the mystery of who gave Kaiser's Legion the information. Well, who made the sale of his wife and unborn child. So, we saw Wasteland Justice be meted out in front of a, the dinosaur statue. We now have Boone on our side, the sniper that he is. Yeah. The killer, right there. She was the, uh, the receptionist at this establishment here. Here in Novak. The Dino Delight for a thousand caps. Sad. Very sad. And, in other news, we helped some ghouls go to space. Maybe. So what's next on the list of things we need to do here? Let's take a look. That you went that away. Intercept the Great Cons at Boulder City. That's where we must go next. But first... Hey, Victor. Hey there, friend! Be seeing ya. Nothing else new to say to him. Alright. And before we head down the road here, I want to make sure that we have the right stuff on here. Slightly damaged, but it's fine. Yeah, plasma rifle's good. That that's a good one to run with. All right. So how's everybody doing here on YouTube? It, it's good good to see you guys again. Uh, feels like it's been a while since I've done a recording here. I mean, really. Uh, I mean between work and married life. Life's been a little interesting, but it's been good. It's been very good. Excellent, even. <sighs> and in this time, in this time with working and that sort of thing, you know, earning an income, in, in my free time, aside from doing this, I've also been... Yep. Kaiser's Legion. Got him! Ooh, this guy's got armor. Ooh. Standard bearer. You like that? Oh, Boone's unconscious. Great. Hey! Opa! Retribution. Retribution, is that what you're calling it these days? For what? Selling Boone's wife into slavery? Come on, guys. Should have known this wasn't going to go down easily. Wasn't going to be taken too kindly. Come on. Alright. Alright, you've asked for it. I'm mad now. Yeah, let's let's use the Ripper, why don't we? Ooh. 
that's worn off, probably giving me a debuff here. Take that and that and that! Yikes! <laughs> Vilified for your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, aka using a hand saw to guy. You have become vilified by the community. Yikes! Okay, that's that's actually quite loud. I'm gonna put that away now. Also, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, guys. Oh, not not load, not load. That's not what I want here. So, in going back and rewatching some of the content here, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit on this because I feel like it does get a little loud in the recordings. So I just want to make sure that. You guys aren't having your ears blown out. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. It happens though, right? It's a learning process. That's what, you know, being on YouTube is a little bit. Ooh, doctor's back. Let's do that. Yeah. Had seven of those. Can afford to do that. Uh, we have 1,866 caps. And these guys, I'm sure, had some interesting items. Ooh. Centurion helmet. Yeah, but I don't want to wander to New Vegas wearing that. Or that's medium armor, even. Wow. <sighs> Quite a bit. Oh, there you are, Boone. Hi. Glad you could make it. Sorry about that. To be fair, he 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 did get destroyed. Uh. Might be able to sell those. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Okay, that's awesome. Oh, and a super sledge? Super heavy, more like. Ugh. Why am I down to 250? Oh, wait. Did the. Did that Super Stim Pack give me a debuff, by any chance? Let me take a look at this, because I... Super Stim Pack debuff. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Strength and Jildy gets hit. Oh boy, okay. Let's see here, what are we dumping today, people? Ah, I can sell those though. Super Sledge would be fun to use. Oh, and it's valuable. But it takes a hundred melee skill just to wield. Holy crap. Wait, I have an idea. Hey, boom. Fine by me. Hey. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. You know, something like that. Every time I try to talk to Boone, it's it's something along those lines. Why don't you carry that? Oh, I had a bumper sword. That That's fun. Can repair that. Why don't you carry the incinerator? The minigun. And... Yeah, you'll carry the super sledge for now. Oh, but... We just dropped below the carry weight threshold, didn't we? I think. Because let's see here. We have... Because our stats here, we... It'll be perks, right? Uh... Hoarder. If it drops below 160 carry weight, we suffer a minus one to all attributes. So actually, Boone... I take that back. I'd like some of that stuff back, please. Fine by me. The 44. And the minigun. Let's do that. And then I noticed here. Not my strong. Yeah, you and me both. Yeah, okay. 
We can just set his combat style. That's nice. Um, uh, you know, I'm gonna swing by this location here. I don't necessarily want to go in. Just want the XP from getting there. If you catch my drift, good to see our HP is going back up too. That was little hairy. Helios won. Maybe another time. Because I know that has a whole quest line that's tied to that. Uh, but I do I do want to find the people that put a ventilation shaft in my character. You know? Seems like a noble cause. Well, maybe not necessarily noble, but... Hang on. Ooh. Just wanting to be sure we're not in a an extremely dangerous location. Oh, I see a bloat fly over there. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, since we did pick this up, let's go and repair this, please. Plus three damage, that's huge. But we don't have a lot of ammo for it, that's why we're not using it. Right, that makes sense. Gotta have the stuffs. Ow. Oh no, Boone! Yikes! Where'd these vipers come from? Wow. They just kind of arrived out of nowhere. And then <laughs> Boone just wrecked them. Another hunting rifle. Excellent. Junk food. Eh. Steady. Weapon spread reduced, but probably builds uh, that feeling of addiction. Not sure how I feel about that. Let's see. Oh, we're using... Okay, I don't know why I picked this up then. I'll put that away. Or drop that. El Dorado Gas and Service. Makeshift bedding. I wonder if this was where maybe the Vipers were holed up at? Let's see what's on the inside. Empty. Empty bottles, but we do have three actuals. And a gun cabinet? Oh, yeah! Ooh, sawed-off shotguns. That's an interesting find. Take another Sunset Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla, however you pronounce that. Yeast, don't need it. Cash register, there we go. That's what I like to see. Oh wait, 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 stim pack, I actually want that. <laughs> don't want to leave that. Ammo box? Oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just quick save that. Um, yeah, so as I was saying before, so something that I do in my free time a little bit when I actually have some is write fiction. And I've written two books. 
up to this point, but I've been, I've been trying to get them, at least one of them published, and you know, that's a whole process, trying to reach out to an agent. It takes a little bit. It takes a little bit of time. But it's, it's set in a fantasy world, and it deals with a threat from a different dimension or realm encroaching upon a world, but also has more mystery aspects than that. So I don't want to give everything away on it, but that's just, that's the general gist of it. Good job, Boone. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's great. He is great for this. Just snipes him. Like, is that a pack of bugs we actually have to worry about? No, it's just... Oh. That's disgusting. Alright. We're heading to uh, Boulder City, right? Tracking down those great cons. Boulder City. Alright. But, yeah, so the first one, the first book I ever wrote, I started writing that about, well, let's see here. I was in college starting in, like, 2019, so that's about the time that I began writing that. Took me about four years, give or take, to write and edit it a little bit. Can't run from me. Thanks, Boone. And then that fantasy one that I was mentioning, it took me maybe a year to write that. So the first book is like 342 pages, and the other one's just over 300, maybe 308, 310. But I'm wanting to have a five book series on that fantasy, on the fantasy series. You know, in my opinion, and I, I might be a little biased on this, but I think it's decent writing. Just have to hone your craft a little bit. It, it takes some time to write and edit, and you know, you, you're not always going to feel like it. But if you like writing, go for it. Welcome to Boulder City. Big, the Big Horn Saloon. Hey, what do we have here? Star bottle cap. Excellent. Oh, it, it would be considered stealing here. Okay, good to know. Somebody actually owns and operates this establishment. Hold up, wait a minute. You here to pay your respects to? What is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Sorry to hear that, friend. Don't worry about it. Uh, where are you normally stationed at? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Uh, goodbye. Good to meet you. Bye. Sorry for your loss. Okay. Yeah. Definitely looks like it got all blown up around here. Uh, what is that over there? Hmm. Maybe a train station? Train depot? Uh, 
Uh, We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass and McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. You know, these great cons might have something of mine. A platinum ship. They're, they're some of the ones that might have put this bolt in my head. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. You know, I may be able to negotiate with them, or I could, I could sneak in there and try to get your people out. One of the two. Uh, let's try them. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself in a fight. And this guy here, Boone, he's a crack shot. I think we can do it. Good luck. Okay. Boulder City Showdown. Something I want to check here, actually. So special's that. That's barter. Speech is 40. Do I have anything that can buff that up to 50 if I need to? Survival, lockpick. Speech, plus 10. Okay. There's potential. We have a chance. And actually, I might just go ahead and use that. Beats going up against the Legion. Alright, let's play this carefully, safely. NCR sure did a number on this place. Wow! They're actually just letting me in. Look at that! So nice of them. Oh, hi, hostages. Fuck Benny. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. Wait, you serious? He did that? Glad to hear it. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's next door that we actually need. Yeah, it's next door. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Well, surprise, I'm not. And you know what? I believe you have something of mine. Yeah, uh, about that. Where's the platinum ship? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. You know, let's talk about settling things between you and the NCR here. Well, it seems as if uh, you don't like Benny either. Maybe we can come to an accord here. Even though you did assist him in putting a bolt in my head. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Never mind, let's talk about Fine. something else. Eh, go on. Okay. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and kick that up to 45. That'll be useful here. Okay, boy. Let's kick some of those up, and then... Oh, boy. Maybe survival up some points? Okay. And now that we have that, let's talk to him again. I'm getting real tired of talking. I realize that, but I do want you guys to settle things between... I want the thing to settle. Still going on about this, huh? Pretty sure I already said we want the NCR to back off and let us out. I uh, know, but, you know, you free the hostages now and I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. 
No blood gets shed, you keep your lives and your pride. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. With pleasure. I do want some more answers, though. Yeah? On what? Well, what can you tell me about Benny? He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Topps Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true. But there was still no way I could pass up the chance. And what do you know about this platinum chip that I was carrying? What was so important that it required putting a bolt in my head and taking it? It's just a big fancy poker chip as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum though. Okay. Then riddle me this. Why did Benny betray you? He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. All right. Fine. Yeah, go on. Might come back here once tensions have cleared up. But hey, we got an achievement. They went that away. That's awesome. 1300 XP too, that's... Not a drop in the bucket. Wait. Did he follow us in there? Huh. I'm glad you are able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. The Great Cons let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. Look, it doesn't, it's not worth putting bullets in them. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? If you have any integrity, my friend, you'll honor your deal. You're right. The great cons are free to go. NCR accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Great cons accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature as well. Perfect. Oh, and more XP? Level up! Let's get a perk, guys. Let's do it. Let's get a perk. Now we're at now that we're at this screen again. Oh boy. I'm gonna dump all of these into sneak. For reasons. Anyway, what? do we have new? Night person when the sun is down. Night person gains plus two to both intel intelligence and perception up to a maximum of ten. This perk directly affects your internal clock and remains active both inside and outside. Mysterious stranger, you've gained your own personal guardian angel. Armed with a fully loaded 44 magnum. With this perk, the mysterious stranger will appear occasionally in Vat's mode to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. Misfortune. Just when your enemies think they have the upper hand, Misfortune appears to turn the world upside down. Appearing only in Vats, she has the ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> Here and now. Immediately grants an additional experience level complete with all the advantages that brings. Finesse. You have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat equivalent to five extra points of luck. Wow. Fight the power! You have... You've had enough of the so-called authorities pushing poor folks around. You gain plus two damage threshold and plus five percent critical chance against anyone wearing the faction armor of the NCR Legion or Brotherhood. Strong back. With the strong back perk, you can carry 50 more pounds of equipment. Sneering imperialist. You don't take kindly to traders or to raiders, junkies, or tribals trying to settle or stay alive in civilized lands. Against Dirty Raider and Junkie types, as well as Zion's Tribals, you do plus 15% damage and have a bonus to hit in Vats. Scrounger. With the Scrounger perk, you'll find considerably more ammunition containers than you normally would. Quick Draw allows you... Makes all of your weapon equipment and holstering plus 50% faster. And then I think we've read all of these, actually. Um, Let's see here. Fortune Finder... No, maybe... Ooh, Intense Training might be a good one. 
to raise special stats, but ah, boy. I think we took all of the ones for added XP and that sort of thing. So, maybe I take here and now get the extra level up. I could do that. Dump some points into things. Yeah. Reached 10th level. New kid. Another level up. Just free XP. I like that. 14 skill points this time around. Let's kick barter up to 30. And then... Actually... Up to 25. We'll do that. And then... Ooh. Put some points into repair. Seems like a good way to go about that. And then, next order of business. Head to New Vegas. Here we go. Private Ackerman. Man, I thought I was dead for sure. Well, you're not, so you're welcome. Actually, something I want to check here, because... Plasma Rifle, it did have a 25 for energy weapons. Which, now we're at 27 on that, so... I'd say that was definitely what we needed to do. Now this over here... Train Station. Just somewhat curious about this. Fancy meeting you here, friend! What the... How did you get here, Victor? Did you follow me? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle if you ask me. Hey, did you see Benny come this way, by the way? Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the dust of Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. You know, I don't like being followed, Robot. I really don't. Now, now, it ain't my fault that Dorothy and the Tin Man happen to be on the same yellow striped road, is it? Well, anyway, I best be off. Please don't follow. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. He keeps showing up. That was close. <laughs> Boy, the bugs here. They're really something, aren't they? Empty, empty, empty. Full. Nice. Can sell that. That's an empty one. No star bottle cap here. Terminal. I don't know if I can get into it. Because it's average. I think I need a 50. Oh, and I can't even command him to do that, like, in four. Aww. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, it's... Great cons. Hey. Hey, hold up. Want to talk with you. Or oh, leaving a mess. Vicious dog. Uh, excuse me. Still got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Talk fast. Bye. Yeah, go on. I would just wonder if he had some more dialogue in him. Answer is no, apparently.
Oh, okay, it's a Brahmin caravan. Okay. Okay. What have we got here? We got, we got anything good here? The 188 trading post. And a star bottle cap. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Good Springs. Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there, but I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Wait, you live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Uh, go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? I know who they are, but I don't really care about their agenda. Yeah, it's pretty far out, right? Fixating on old technology just doesn't seem very relevant to most people's lives. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Strip. Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. I mean, don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. You know, you don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. I'd like to, but I can't take you with me right now. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay, my offer stands, if we run into each other again. It's always nice to have people out here in the wasteland. Also, you've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. You as well. Boy, everybody's following me. Yikes. Hey, you. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Uh, who are you? Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Why do you settle on this, uh... Here, dump. There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. So why is this place called the 188? You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet, and 95 plus 93 equals 188. Right, good good math on that one. Hey, look, I've had some run-ins with the Legion, actually. What do you know about Region? What do you know about Region? <laughs> wow, if I could talk. Yikes. What do you know about Legion raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. You know, I'd like, I'd like to see what you have for sale, if you don't mind. Have a look. Boy, my throat's getting a little scratchy, guys. That's not good. 
That's really not good. Um, she has caps. Ooh, could get. Well, I mean, we have plenty of doctor's bags right now. I'm guess I'm not too worried about that. Ammo, I think we're good to go. Nothing too fancy in there. Maybe we're in a selling mood, not a buying mood. Uh. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can repair that. The throwing spears, I don't think we're ever going to use. At least, not not these particular ones. The sawed-off shotgun here... I mean, she's already given us 70 caps. It's going to be above what she could do anyway. Thanks. So let's not... I need to get going. Bye. Okay. Now, she mentioned something about running this establishment with her dad, right? Let's see if we can find People usually him. Usually aren't stupid enough to steal from the gun runners. Usually. Suitcase. Uh, excuse Hello. me. Don't make any trouble for us. We won't make any trouble for you. Fair. That's fair. Hey. You a merc? Cause you don't look like a prospector. Something like that. And what are you supposed to be, an NCR soldier? Hell yes, sir. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. What was your rank, if I might ask? Staff Sergeant, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company. I was at the dam when the Legion hit us three years back. That was a shitstorm, and don't let anybody tell you different. The brass try to play it down, but most of them were back at McCarran. Why did you leave the army? I didn't. My CO ordered me to flog a couple deserters, and I told him to eat shit. So they kicked me out for insubordination. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. So how'd you end up selling weapons? Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river, sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CO is treating them right, and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body armor, can you believe that? Well, fancy that, that's not doing any good. What, the NCR doesn't have the caps to outfit their troops? Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems, while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. This war is gonna bankrupt the NCR, unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. Hey, show me what we got for sale. Maybe we can uh, come to an agreement on something. Sure, no problem. Curious. 10 millimeter pistol extended mags increases ammo capacity by four laser sight. Oh. Hmm. Surplus extended mags there. So, what I'm seeing here. Oh, yikes. Wow. Power fist chromed tubes increases condition plus 100%. Yeah, what? Well, so she sells some mods. Interesting. I don't think I'm really going to use those just yet. I mean, do we have anything else to sell? Or. I mean, personally, I th think we're in a decent position. I'm never going to use that, though, so... Can get rid of it. Some pre-war money. Lottery tickets we don't need. Some poison glands. More poison glands. Pleasure to... Pleasure doing business with you, ma'am. Ah, I still want to find the owner and proprietor of this place.
Maybe he'll be down this way. Well, there are people there, and then who's this guy? Stay alert. Oh, those are the great cons. Okay. They're leaving. Excuse me. This job's boring enough without talking to you. Let me see Alexander. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? So you're a gun runner. <laughs> like you have a clue what that even means. I don't like your attitude. You like it any better if I tell you to fuck off? All right, all right. Still making a nuisance of yourself. Why don't you tell me about the Gunrunners? You bag of crap. The Gunrunners have been putting rapid-fire death-dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. What do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. Lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. Why don't you tell me about these gunrunner caravans? Not much to tell. A Brahmin or two loaded up with weapons and a whole mess of well-armed guards to make sure it ends up where it's supposed to. One nifty bit, though. The gun cases are rigged to explode, so trying to loot one of our caravans doesn't do much good. And that's how the NCR stays equipped. The only thing we don't bring in is energy weapons. Why don't you deal in energy weapons? We used to, but every caravan carrying them was getting ambushed and wiped out by someone sophisticated enough to know which was which. We think it was the Brotherhood of Steel. Those crazies always go hard for energy weapons. But the NCR would rather pretend they killed all of them. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. I figure a guy like you gets his pick of killing gear. You might be onto something. I'd like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. Just gotta know how to talk to a sack of crap. <laughs> Anything good. Notice how everything is just perfect condition when you go to get it, and yikes! Look at the cost of that thing. Blech. Yikes. That's rough. But he does have, uh... He does have mods. But there's something I'd be looking for specifically. Oh, well, not necessarily that. Increases condition plus 50% of armament rifle silencer. Yeah, he doesn't. He wouldn't have anything I want from him anyway in terms of that. So, where can I buy some weapons? There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. Already talked to her. I need to get going. Bye. Okay, we talked to Alexander. What a ray of sunshine he is. But where's the, the owner and proprietor of this place? Let's head back topside and see if we can find him. What was his name? Solomon? Let's see, we talked to both of you. We know he's not in there. He wouldn't be in the tent, would he? No, no, he's not. Um, let's see, that's the great cons walking away. We have this Look. guy, the two down below. Well, three down below, actually. Guards and Alexander. Her. Maybe he travels from somewhere else. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, wait. Samuel. Samuel was his name. Hey. Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Who are you, my friend? 
Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like much, but it's one hell of a location. Why did you leave Prim? Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till a prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. Why is business so good here, then? When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip, or limp back home, after the Strip's drained them of caps. We get them coming and going. Coming, the suckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the Strip. And going, the same folks. But now they're losers who will trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss Prim. I'd like to see what you have for sale. You bet. Let's see here. Does he have anything? Oh, he's just he's just an aid guy. Ah, Rats. <laughs> Bye, friend. Okay, to be fair, I did wake him up. <laughs> he didn't look like he wanted to be awake and talking there. Yikes. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't either. I I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either if I was woken up like that. I can still see the great cons going that way, so might as well follow him. Oh wait, one, two, and then the third one's down there. How'd they get so off course? Unless that's a different guy. Oh, that's that's Jessup. Okay. Wait, but then who's that up there? Ew. Okay. I see people walking about and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I trust that. Because there are only three great cons from Boulder City, if I remember correctly. Maybe I was just imagining things. That was odd. Yeah, nothing. Probably just hearing things at this point. Look at that. New Vegas, we can see the strip from here. Wouldn't say we quite made it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Repcon headquarters. Maintenance robot seems friendly enough. Let's go talk to him. Uh, excuse me. How may I serve you, master? Hi there. Not very talkative, I see. Well, as long as nothing wants to take me out here, I will continue on my way. I've got a mission. Find out who ventilated my head in game.
Huh. You know what, before we head there, I think... Let's make a stop here. Ah, uh, this must be the, the 95 that they were talking about. Uh, excuse me. Welcome to the Grub and Gump. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Yeah, may I ask you some questions? Sure, fire away. Is there a place to buy weapons and armor around here? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. Uh, where can I find a doctor around? Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. You know, I don't have any more questions. Why don't we talk about something else, friend? All right, then. Bye. See you later. I don't really want to see what he has for sale, to be honest. Hi. You need water? I got water. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. Are there many water merchants around here? There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. I have some general questions for you, actually. Shoot. Anything I should know about New Vegas before heading in? They won't just let anybody into the Strip, but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just, um, keep a close eye on your caps. What do you know about the NCR? Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. I've heard a uh, whisper of fiends. What do you know about them? They're a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Apparently they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. The army should really get in there and wipe them all out, but I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. Well, that's all I need to know right now. Thank you. All right. Bye. Until next time. Yeah, I, I don't need water. I don't. And then we've got Brahmin, Brahmin, and Brahmin. Okay. Yikes, that's a uh, billboard. Right, I did say I was going to head over to where the the wall is. Is that... Maybe that's the Camp McCarran that they were talking about? I think? I mean, I see the... Looks like an airport terminal tower. So that might be what that is. Um, yeah, I forgot how big this place was. <laughs> Let's see here. Trying to figure out where we came, where we came in from, what side of uh, New Vegas we're on. This might be Gun Runners. No, it's not. It's not Gun Runners. Thought for a moment maybe, but no, this is. Freeside. No, Aerotech Office Park. Don't need to head in there right now. East Central Sewers. So we can go in the sewers as well, but right now, we've got more important fish to fry. And I know everybody's just like, when are you going to get to the New Vegas Strip? When are you going to the New Vegas Strip? I'm on my way. Uh, excuse me. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I could use some directions, actually. I'll help you if I can. What are you looking for? I'm looking for work. Well, I know Major Daughtry is offering bounties on some of the fiends. That's the gang that controls the southeast part of the city. You can find the Major at the camp just outside of the old airport. Alright, what about, uh, buying and selling things? The Crimson Caravan Company is north of here. They have just about everything you need. But if you're in the market for guns, go see the gun runners. They're expensive, but they have stuff no one else carries. 
good to know. And a doctor? There's a medic at Camp McCarran, but I've also heard there's a civilian doctor in the northeast part of New Vegas. I don't know for sure. Good to know. Thanks for the help. Bye. Sharecropper Farms. Okay. You know, I'm used to a game like Seven Days to Die where you look in a mailbox and there's just random junk in it. Ah, uh, <laughs> Does nobody leave anything in the mailboxes these days? Did you know they put our liver in the spleen in the mailbox? Oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Thank you, so kind. Did you know they found her liver in the spleen in the mailbox? Next to her, uh... Oh, I, I forget exactly what the quote is on that. But you know, from the first Scream movie, my wife is a big fan of that of that movie series. I don't she handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. So you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Who are the gun runners? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Any chance I could tour said factory? None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off-limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Fair, fair. Who's in charge of the gun runners, might I ask? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. All right. Goodbye. Later. As I was saying, my wife is a big fan of the Scream series, and she's she's not a horror movie fan. But I have to constantly remind her, it's not a horror movie franchise. It's it's slasher. Hey, leave a comment down in the comment section on whether you think slasher genre is horror or if you classify it as something different. Or if you just don't care either way and just like a good movie. Oh, look at that sun. <sighs> Although I'm probably sunburned at this point. <laughs> anyway. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Oh, uh, that's some impressive weaponry. Where did it all come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. And how do you get inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Good plan. What is this place, by the way? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. All right, then, if this is the finest establishment since 2155, why don't you show me what the finest establishment has for sale? I am ready to process our transaction. I'm not going to buy anything. Here's the reason. Oh, Anti-material rifle. 50 MG. Oh. Bozar. Bozar. Huh. Esther. Oh my gosh! It's a... F it's a nuke launcher. Fat man. Oh my gosh. Gena. H... Oh! It has a bleed effect on it. Interesting. Hunting revolver. 4570... Medicine stick? Pfft. Almost 29,000 for that? Power fist, ripper. Sleepy time! Effects silent. Two step goodbye. Bonus critical chance, reduced critical damage. Crit kill equals boom. <laughs> equals boom. I like how you wrote that, guys. Very nicely done. Uh, I have some armor here. 
Not that I really need anything right now, it's kind of pricey. Miscellaneous, this is what I'd be more interested in. Um, specifically, I'm looking for... Oh, that's a night vision scope for that. Uh, actually, they don't have anything I want at the moment, which is sad. There's a specific mod I'm looking for for the hunting rifle. Come back and see us again soon. So I can put a scope. So I can put a scope on it, like Boone, with with his rifle. I feel like that would be loads of fun. But here we are, guys. Well, okay. There's the Crimson Caravan Company over there, which we'll visit them at some point. But we're getting into Freeside here. We're get we're getting to New Vegas. Couple kids chasing each other. Some citizens out and about. Hey. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. What are you selling? Have a look, baby. Uh, drugs and alcohol. I'm I'm good, my friend. Talk to you later. Hello. Hmm? Oh, never mind. Not a talker. Got it. Wow, the world went slow motion, guys. Help me! I'm stuck at Okay. We're good, we're good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even need to go Matrix dodge, you know, bullet time on that, but it, it still did it. That's awesome. Uh, we've got a vagrant over here. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, I feel the same way. Anyway. <laughs> That's a mood, guys. It's really a mood. Yikes. Okay, so free side thugs. Good to know. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. What? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. We're gonna needs. have rat tonight. Do you want me to get that rat for you? Stop by Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs, sir. Thank you kindly. Yeah. We'll take out this rat, why not? Yikes! Thanks, mister. He's just eating it raw! Yikes, kid! <laughs> hey. This guy doesn't even bat an eyelash, just leans against the wall like, it's cool, mister, I see that. I see that same garbage every single day. And you know what? I like rat too. Oh, I gotta go. I just have the sudden urge I need to leave. <laughs> uh, let's... Well... Search around a little bit more. Uh, excuse me. The king controls the water pump. If you want water, you need to pay like everyone else. Why well, charge for the water? If we let everyone run amok, the damn NCR would shut us down. Gotta have some way to regulate usage. How much for a drink? Just a few caps for a good long swig. Uh, never mind. Anything else you want? Can I buy a bottle of water? Sure thing. Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, time for me to go. Later. Yeah, later, skater. Uh, anyway. There's probably more I'm missing here on Freeside East. I mean, there's that whole fort right there. We could go in there at some point, but we're on a mission, actually. Uh, pardon me. You looking to join the Kings? Don't know. 
Excuse me. Squatters aren't happy about the water ration. But then when are they ever happy? Howdy. The squatters have been more and more trouble lately. Excuse me. It's never dull in Freeside, is it? Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. You want to get your hands on some of the deadliest weapons around? Head just down the street to the Silver Rush. You won't be disappointed. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Uh, actually, I'm already married, have a wife. I like my wife already. Love her. I don't need women. Or booze. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Howdy. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Well, what goods and services do you have to offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. Uh, do you have any work you need done around here? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. <laughs> wow! Will I have to shoot anyone because- I really want to shoot someone, yikes. Long sounds good as long as they don't have to kill anyone. Oh, how about this one? What kind of caps are we talking here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Hey, I'm doing all the work here. 50-50 and I'm game. Alright, 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Hey, that's fair. I'd expect nothing less. Got yourself a deal. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Uh, Grex? Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. How about Lady Jane? Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the Apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Uh, and Santiago? Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Uh, that's all for now. I'll take care of that one. Anything I get to else it. you need? Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Yep. What about you, mister? Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Do you have any work you need done? We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay your finder's fees. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls. And the thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. I'm not going to be your pimp for this, okay? Oh, I'd still be the pimp. You'd just be my pissant recruiter is all. Let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, I'll mull it over. Yikes. Okay, we have Whoa. some Atomic Wrangler guards. And then we have this part back here, the casino. Hi. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? 
Sure, why not? I've got some Legion money here. Came across some uh, Legionaries. How many chips would you like? Let's do uh, 100 chips for one Legionarius or 25 Legion Denarii. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I think I'm good. Thank you. Till next time. Okay. Uh, we have roulette, slots, or blackjack. This one, blackjack, I think, is probably the safest. Let's go start with ten. Okay, they have a five. Let's hit. That puts us at twenty. We'll stay at that. Eight, nineteen. So, we won some chips. Deal it out. Hit it. Oh, we got a blackjack. Five, five. Hit for an 18. I will... I'll keep that. Might lose this one. Nope, we won. Deal. Stay at a 19. It's the safest move. Lose 10. That's fine. Deal it out. We have 12. Hit for 20. Stay there. 110. Nice. Okay. I'm going to increase to 20 here. See what happens. Hit it for 1. We're at a blackjack. Well, not a blackjack. We're at 21. Sorry. Wrong term for it. 20. We'll stay at that. 14. 21. We lost 20. That's fine. 19, stay there. 120. Okay, we're at either at 8 or 18. I say we stay at the 18. Yes, we're going to lose 20, but in the long run, I think that's going to be better. 13, hit 19, stay. Break even. Play 10 hands of blackjack, we just got an achievement. Awesome. Okay, 8 or 18, let's hit it. 10, 16, 18, let's stay at 18. Break even. We're at 8, 18, stay there. Break even. 19, stay there. Hey! Deal it out. Okay, we're either at 4 or 14. Let's hit that. Uh, 18 or 8. 20. Cool. Okay, hit it. Yep, it's 10. Kind of figured it would be. Feel lucky, you win 20. Nice. Let's hit it. For 19, stay there. Win 20. Okay, let's uh, increase it up to 25 here. Double down. 21. We won 50. This is why the luck stat comes in handy, guys. Okay, we lose 25 there. That was, that was going to happen, guarantee. And that's a blackjack right there. And we get plus 20% of what we bet because of that, so... Send it up to 35, why don't we? So we're either at 3 or 13. That's a hit situation. That puts us at 21. Excellent. Deal it out here. Hit it and stay. 135. Okay, we're going to double down again. Get to 21. 170 chips. Increase the bet to 40. We're at 9, hit it, 19, stay. I kind of figured we were going to lose there, though. It does have to happen sometimes. We're at 20 here, stay there. They have to get a 21 to beat that as the dealer. Got a good chance of winning that. Two kings, stay in there. Eight, 18, perfect. Okay, we're at 7, hit it, 18, stay there. Yeah, we, we lost, but 
based upon what we were going to draw, I don't think we had much of a chance there. If we hit here, it's going to be a 21. Yep. Perfect. 19. Stay there. 15. Okay, 20. We weren't going to win that one. That's fine. Hit it. Puts us at 19. Let's stay there. I, I've had some practice with Blackjack on Fallout New Vegas, so I'm kind of used to how this works. But this is why you want to have your luck stat higher. We have seemed to have hit a point where we're breaking even a little more here. Or we're not necessarily making as many caps, but that's fine. Hey, we got a Blackjack. Okay, and once we get up to 500 caps here, I'll increase the bet up to 50. So we're at 10 now. 20, stay. Yeah. Let's increase increase the bet. You know, there is an achievement to get kicked out of all of the casinos in New Vegas or around New Vegas. I really want to get that achievement. I've gotten it before. First time I played this game was on PS3, and I played the heck out of it. That's how I got kind of good at this in-game. But remember, people, don't don't gamble in real life. It you you don't have a luck stat in real life. Okay. Let's increase the bet to 60. You'll notice that I'm doing a bet of about 10% of the chips that I have. Oh, that puts us at 21. Nice. It's a it's a solid strategy, to be honest. Because I don't want to lose more than can afford to, and I don't want to gamble. So, people, I do not gamble in real life. Okay? It's... There's a reason the saying is, the house always wins. And that's a blackjack. Awesome. Kick it up to 90. That's 20. Stay there. Okay. Increase the bet to 100. Let's see what happens here. 15. That's a hit situation. We're at 20. Stay there break even. Deal it out here. We're at either 8 or 18. I'm going to hit that. Now we're at 20. Okay. Increase to... Oh, nope. Now we're going up by increments of 25, so it's getting to be a little bit more here. Okay, 16, 21. Perfect. 100. Increase the bet. Okay, actually going to double down here and get to 21. Win 250 chips. Oh my gosh! Okay, so you notice how it kind of kicked me out of the table there? This is at the point where they would give you a gift or something. Like, hey, you're one of our most valued customers. Oh, wow, the dealer had a blackjack. Good for you. Good for you, dealer. Hey, my turn. <laughs> Take that. Okay, we're going to hit that, get a 10, and stay. Perfect. Go for it again. Blackjack. 180. So now we'll increase the bet to 175. I'm going to hit on a 12 here. Get to 17. That's a hit situation to get to 21. Okay. Kick it up to 200. 19. Stay there. Break even. Okay. We're at 18. I'm actually going to stay there. Deal it out here. Blackjack. One two hundred forty. Oh, can I not increase the bet past two hundred? Okay, that's fine. And I know we're sitting at this table for a while here. Maybe this isn't the most. Oh, hey, they gave me a gift: whiskey and a dapper gambler hat. Okay. I want to get kicked out of this casino. Please. <laughs> Please, make it happen. 
Double down. We're going to have a... Yep. A jack. We win 400 chips. This this is why you want to have the high luck stat. Because you get, you get way more winning hands in this game than if you have a lower luck stat. It just works. Twenty, stay there. Yep. One another two hundred. Okay, we're at sixteen. That's a hit situation. Puts us at twenty one. Good position. Good position to be in. Hey, look at that. More chips. Rum and Nuka added. Okay. No, no, we are getting we are getting close to getting kicked out of this casino. I want to do this by the end of the episode, guys. Blackjack! Woo! Yeah, I can't I can't bet any higher than what I am right now. So that's fine. Okay. Hit it. Stay. Okay, one two hundred. Good. It's a 10. Hit it. 21. Boom. Steal it out. 20. Stay right there. Best they can hope for is break even. Or 21. 12. Have to hit it. Puts us at 20. Stay there. They got a 26. That's way too high. And then a 20. We'll stay there. Okay, we break even. Yeah, because if you see here, dealer must get 16 or higher. So I'm actually going to stay on this one. They got a 17, so we're higher than them. Deal it out. That's a 20. Stay there. Sorry, but you have reached the jackpot limit, but feel free to explore the other services here at the Atomic Wrangler. We got kicked out, guys! We did it! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Did it! Okay, let's go redeem these. You've been banned from this ga from gambling at this casino. Yes! Oh my god. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Yeah, I'd like to uh, turn in my chips. <laughs> in what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. No, I just want the payout in caps, please. Caps it is. Will there be anything else? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I cleaned you out. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, quick save that. Gonna clip that, too. That's gonna be the next short, guys. Anyway, on that note, let's actually head toward the New Vegas Strip here. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. Keeping an eye out for anything suspicious or dangerous around here. Yeah, so what's what's our cap amount here in, at? We went in with 100 and walked out with 5,000. Nice. It's going to come in handy, too, let me tell you. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier. You know, I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. As for Butcher, how'd you get into that, my friend? My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. Sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. 
No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Yikes. As for Cryer, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Wrong place at the wrong time, if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. You said escort like armed guard. Let's be honest, guys. After what he just said there, there's there's no question of like armed guard. Come on! You, come on, guys. How dumb is my character? How dumb? I think his intellect is like five? That's not bad. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man Yep, whore. there it is. So, you got paid for sex. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Good choice, good choice. What about gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. This is, this is the guy that the, the song like, I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere, kind of goes with, you know? He, he's been everywhere, done everything. Look at this guy, look at this, look at his... Resume, courier, butcher, crier, escort, and finally, armed guard. All right. Bye now. Later. He's done everything, guys. It's kind of a random encounter. Watch out! Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Oh. Yikes. And that's why you don't run past, thanks for the advice, my guy. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Hello. Lovely to meet you. Uh, who are you? I haven't the time to speak to commoners such as yourself. Bye. Bye. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I'm not a commoner. I was hired by the guards to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Perhaps there's something else of value if you, you could put toward the debt. I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Sorry. Okay, that was that guy. Okay, so we did get the Lady Jane stuff, but I want to get into the New Vegas trip here. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Of course. Uh, what's credit check? What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering. And ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. You know, that seems like, uh... Oh, I mean, 
I understand why you do that. At the same time, that seems a little... Uh, seems a little biased. Seems... Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, I'm blanking on it, guys. Well, oh, I... I, I ought to know this term, too. It's a very prevalent one these days. Uh... Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's when... Based upon something, you... You... You favor people for one reason more than another, and... Oh, what what is it? This is going to be one of those things where I, I just... Just sit up in bed in the middle of the night and go, Oh, it was that! Oh, discrimination. That seems like a discrimin discriminatory practice, my friend. But... I do want to get onto the strip here, so... I'll submit to that credit check of yours. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Uh, sorry, it took me so long to think that. Hey, was this guy carrying anything good? Oh, he lost his leg. Nope, he just had the clothes on his back. And now he got nothing. He dead. In game. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. What are you doing here, Victor? I left before you. Consider me your personal welcome wife. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. All right. Now why is a robot passing on Mr. House's invitation? Well now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dog, he'll be waiting. And that is how Victor's been getting here all these times. You saw the, the screen switch? Oh my gosh. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thanks, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're going to have to stay outside. No deal. Boss is pretty clear on this. I can't let you in unless you buy your lonesome. <sighs> well, howdy, partner. No problem. I guess I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Sorry, Boone. I'll collect you once I'm out. Excuse me. Ah, not the talk to protect. Where to, partner? Penthouse, I guess. Penthouse floor. What floor, partner? He's the doorman. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, excuse me. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. What can you tell me about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Tell me about these uh, three families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Emeritus especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. What can you tell me about the casinos? Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. 
And the lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Why don't you tell me about the other attractions as well, while we're at it? Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Why don't we talk about something else? Anything you like, sugar. What kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Alright. Now, what is this? What is this place, by the way? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. And, uh, can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, Sugar, he's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So, you're a copy of a uh, dead woman. What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Ah, understood. I really don't want to think about that, to be honest. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, mm hmm? Fair, Jane, fair. But it sounds like you're pretty fond of them. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well... He single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Alright, why don't we talk about something else then? Anything you like, sugar. I'm noticing there's a snow globe collection over there. What's with that? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Alrighty then. Thank you. Well, Victor, here goes. Not this way, though. It's interesting, though. This place looks... Hmm. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways. Literally, and I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I've never seen anything like this place, to be honest. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the Strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. All right. Let's get down to business, then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. 
Well, I'd like to ask you some questions then, because it sounds like I know who said employee is. What did you wish to know? Tell me about this. Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. What use would you have for protege, Mr. House? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the Platinum Chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Alright, why don't we talk about something else? What else did you want well, to know? You know, I do have some other questions, but... I also want to say, I thought you said Securitrons were the best in the business. And yet they couldn't take on Benny and a couple of great cons. Really. You let me get shot in my HEAD, Mr. House! You let this happen! I got ventilated, and for what? What is this platinum chip you want? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. I have a right to know. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it, dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Well, if that ship's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it like myself? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them... dummies, so to speak? Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, This is important! Attack this! I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Sounds like you didn't know who to trust, Mr. House. You miscalculated. I got shot. You know, why don't you send your robots into the tops to arrest Benny over there? Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Alright then, let's talk about something else, Mr. House. What else did you want to know? And who exactly are you, Mr. House? 
I like to know who I'm working for before I take on a job. Especially now that I need to be more careful about who I make partnerships with. I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to be a current computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. And how have you stayed alive all this time, might I ask? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. How do you establish New Vegas as a computer? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Let's talk about something else, Mr. House. What else I have some did more you questions want to for you. How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. You know, the chairman are your employees, don't they take your orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. And why can't you be the one to tell Swank? Why do you need me, the courier? I worked for you once, it seems, and, well, we all know how that ended up. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Hey, say I want to, uh take a diplomatic approach to this, so I can blast his brains like he did me. How might I go about that? If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas now I could catch him off guard to do that? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly, there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. All right. What else did you want to know? And what terms are you offering, Mr. House? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? thousand caps. I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have the chip. Mr. Ass. After that, I hope to wash my hands of your madness. Until then. All right, and after that tense encounter, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here in the penthouse suite of the Lucky 38 Casino with the New Vegas run by Robert Edwin House, Mr. House. What is this mysterious man in a computer hiding?
what has he been doing that has allowed New Vegas to remain in times of war and strife between the NCR, the Legion, and other such factions? All these questions and more may be answered next time, maybe not. Until then, I want to see you guys back here when we face Benny. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.